Yesterday was a day. Um, we managed to get the boat off the old trailer. In doing so, cracked my phone screen, which is not a vibe. Um, and then, obviously, because we got it on, Shane's managing to now work out the small things, but he's doing a lot of thinking. So, by that I mean a lot of just staring at the boat. I'll um, see what he's up to. <laughs> what have you done since I like, not so great of a day yesterday? Uh, a fair bit actually. I've made my, well, fitted my spare wheel carrier and hated it. <laughs> so we're going to redo that. Why did you hate it? This doesn't. This is strong enough for the bit that I've made here, but the, when you put it on, it put the weight on it, it'll flex out here. So uh, that bracket's not going to be strong enough. And I need to shorten it a little bit, so I'm going to. Short mat and design something else for that. Mm -hmm. um, coupling's ready to be properly welded on. I'm going to do that now. Um, worked out the clearance for the winch post, which is basically set where the boat sits on the trailer. Which was one of the hardest things to, not hardest things, but to work out yesterday. Just require a lot of consideration. You yeah, never really know, so we'll see how it goes, but um, yeah, then I can put the skids on, so the skids in here will make the boat obviously sit level. Uh, so I was, yeah, I had to do the winch post first to work out where the boat was gonna sit to know where the, Put the brackets for the winch boat, uh, for the skids. So, yeah, <laughs> and I have to go back into town to get more brackets. <laughs> and he gets a bit annoyed about driving into town because it's, what, like an hour round trip? Yeah. It's, well, probably longer by the time you're going to stuff and get something. So I think it's getting a bit frustrated when you realise that there's something else you need. So, yeah. All right, so this is sort of a, I'll call it Shano's CAD system. Not real good at drawing things and I can't use CAD, so I think this is probably what people did before CAD anyway. So, I'm thinking this is going to be a lot stronger. And basically, I'm going to imagine this all at a 12, 10 or 12 mil plate, which will get welded and new bolted to the draw bar. And the idea is. We've got a latch that moves in and out here, the two plates will swivel and then the Starbucks I've already got will go on here. Which, you know, if you sort of look at this theory, it works a treat. So I'll shorten that Starbucks a little bit to make it not stick out so far to reduce the leverage so to get the tire in as close as possible but it's the theory and then I've put a big M8 and M12 bolt through the center with a nylon washer and grease I think that'll move enough gusset the crap out of it and weld it and Few hopes and dreams, and hopefully should be should be a beaut. So I might order some steel tomorrow and make it up, and see what it looks like. Drive around with a strap through it for a while, just to make sure it's not going to break. But I don't know. I think it, it's definitely going to be better than what I had before. Yeah, I've got the time. I'll just make it and see what happens. Today I'm putting together the wheel carrier, which um, if you remember the cardboard diorama, it's very much the same thing, just out of a bit heavier steel. So 
and I'll show you what we've got so far. So that's the that's the main swivel piece, I suppose, so the fixed piece, if you will. Um, basically, there's the main centre hole, which is a 20 mil hole that will line up with this one. Pin goes through here. This side stays fixed, imagine. And the other side turns. And you pin your gem in there at the top, which if we go over here. Is that that piece will sit on there, being the fixed piece, and the other bit I just had goes on the other side, holds the wheel and does the swiveling. So I'll get it um, a bit further along and probably be able to imagine a bit more how it's going to work, but yeah, hopefully it works out alright. And I've also decided to redo the skids. I had them sticking straight up, which it was nice to look at on the eye for me because it annoys me and shits on the piss but when you put down the boat on it it leaves that little gap so if I cock it a bit to the side it'll connect a bit better and should sit a bit nicer um, I, I could probably give it more support but it's it's more than just so it all sort of meets up and there's no daylight between the boat and the um and the skids through the pin, the load's through this and this. Okay. The pin just stops it turning. The pressure points are that bolt, this join, and then the end of the thing. It's very stiff. Is it stiff in the actual thing though? No. Yeah, well that's what I'm, because it doesn't sit so far. Oh, oh, well, that you mean down. to have it down. Yeah. I'm sure I can clamp it actually. It's 
a good fun job. Don't get dirty or greasy at all. I'm not sure I believe you. <laughs> You'll need two hands. I'll need two hands, righto. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, so a good hand. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Oh. All right, so you're gonna grab your bearing. Yep. Yeah. So you're gonna fill it well. We're packing in here full of grease. So what you want to know is basically. getting under my nail. It's gonna do that. <laughs> this is horrible. Oh, you wanted to poke out the top of the actual inside? Yeah, yeah, see? Oh God, okay. It's gotta be full, I thought it was full It's so greasy, I can't hold it. <laughs> yeah, you've done it the wrong way around me. I'm trying to do it with my left hand. <laughs> oh, I have to. I'll just chest for it over. We thought it was going to be 50 mil from the bulb. Oh, fuck, of course, because it went from that bitch. Dickhead. That's probably okay though, or is it not? You wanted it closer. Ideally, I wanted it 50 mil closer, which is weak for that, but. A pile of stuff I've just cleaned up off his workspace and he managed to find what he was looking for. Will it stop flexing like this? Yeah, 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 because that's not the bolt's not done up, so yeah, it'll be tied up. Yeah, and how it'll get. I just don't want to do that too tight. Yeah, yeah. You asked the welding shop, and they reckon it sounded like the climb was going okay. Yeah, he's like, yeah. I think he was kind of like me. Give it a go, see you go. Mm. Works. Mm. <laughs> It works, but yeah, you see what I mean? Yeah. It's pulling it away from the bolt. Yeah, the flexing isn't great. No, that's what I was just going Take that washer out, see if I can just do it up. Steel on steel on, see where it sits. But I think I'm going to, rather than bringing this all the way up here, just bring it Halfway. to 90 degrees. Like there. Yeah. But back there. If you just go 90, it's still going to sit. Like below the drawer bar, which is what I was trying to avoid. But I think this tire is just too big to have any other option. So, like, there, it still sits below the drawer bar. So, if you ramp over Sorry. something, you're going to hit it, which is what's going to break it before anything else. So, but I think that's going to be better for traveling. The ones they make have like these. Press, pressed bits in them so it's not it's like less surface area to slide it only slides on those bits but we don't have the 
equipment to do any of that sort of business. So it washes out now? Washes out, so it's just sitting against it, which I think is better. More secure. Well, just less. You know, if there's a gap, there's movement, and then there's movement, it'll wear through shit and break eventually. It's catching on the welds a bit, but it still slides. It's movable. Yeah, so I think that'll be alright. As long as we can get it up and down, that's like, I mean, how often are we really going to put it up and down? No, not often at all. Like I said, I'll, I'll put a strap around it just to, in case it does break, but I, th I think it'll be all right. I'll probably weld all that. So you're still going to go with the 90 degree angle instead of the 180? Yeah, I'll drill another hole. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching part three of our boat camper build. We'll be releasing videos every Friday at 5 p.m. Australian Easter Standard Time. So if you're interested in seeing more of our wild journey as we build a trailer with zero trade experience, hit the subscribe button and the notifications button. If you have any questions about the build, please leave us a comment. We'd love to have a chat with people about it. And if you'd like more up-to-date updates, uh, give us a follow on Instagram at life in a four-wheel drive.